How's it going, everyone? Uh, I'd like to thank all the support that we've received for the petition that we recently uh, created to improve some of the new regulations that have uh, come out of Europe uh, for the drone community. Uh, we've had su supporters from all over the world. Right now, we have 3,229 signatures, which is awesome. We're well on our way to our goal. I really want to see this get above 10,000 uh, to make a significant impact. And the more that we get support from other tech communities, especially the larger RC community, I think we'll be successful. Um, so the rule that uh, we're trying to improve is the UAS prototype rule. Uh, the EASA, which is the European Aviation Safety Agency, uh, it's pretty much for everyone in the United States, it's like our FAA. Um, this rule has several categories, one of which directly impacts um, the FPV do-it-yourself uh, community, uh, recreational uh, use of drones. Um, one, so the first uh, effect will be uh, do-it-yourself aircraft restricted to 250 grams and lower. Uh, second, max speed of less than 54 kilometers per hour Third is the aircraft must remain within 100 meters of the pilot. And the last is the aircraft is limited to a max height of 50 meters. Pretty much every, all but the last uh, we currently violate if this rule was in, a, in current effect. Uh, the EASA uh, is, the receipt, is accepting uh, input from our community and elsewhere uh, via email. I'll put the email below. In, in the uh, description um, to hear our point of view and how we can improve this. Uh, right now they actually are tracking our petition and they've reached out to IDRA and invited us to to Germany uh, to start working on how we can improve this because pr our argument uh, for the most part is two-pronged. Uh, one, uh, that it would hinder innovation and creativity within the drone industry. And two, uh, it would decrease the potential for introducing our next generation to STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. A lot of the skills for being able to assemble your own drone or quadcopter, mini quad, multi-rotor, whatever you want to call it, uh, anything from soldering to understand how circuits work um, to understand how radio frequencies work, uh, motors, calibrating uh, your drone to firmware and other software. Uh, a lot of these skills are what successful organizations like FIRST Robotics use uh, with the robotics competitions. And robotics teams from middle schools and high schools. Uh, this is the potential that IDRA sees when for the reason why we recently launched the UAS STEM Alliance uh, a couple weeks ago at a congressional briefing in Washington DC. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't join this industry just to race. Racing is a lot of fun, I love it. Um, and it's our, main, it's our main operations for our business. However, when I founded IDRA, I wanted to to make an impact or to do something to make an impact in our in our industry to push the technology forward. Uh, I grew up around racing. My dad uh, was an assistant crew chief for almost 18 years in, in professional drag racing and I saw how much the technology from every aspect of the vehicle changed in those 18 years when I grew when I was growing up. and. That's what got me excited about uh, what IDRA could do with racing and how individual teams, pilots, sponsors and manufacturers with the healthy competition uh, between them, uh, where the technology could go with that competition. And that, that same innovation and creativity uh, can be seen through the educational value of uh, FPV racing or drone racing or just the recreational use of quadcopters and building it yourself. I mean some of the best pilots right now in the world are teenagers 
And the more we grow this community, the better that we can prepare our next generation to either enter the drone industry if they want to as pilots and engineers, or pursue other other careers in, in different tech industries. Because the skills in, in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics that can come from um, building and assembling your own drone uh, will greatly prepare them for college. And hopefully become entrepreneurs, start their own businesses, startups, and continue to push this technology forward. Just like other well-known young entrepreneurs and startups have in the past. So once again, I ask for your support. Uh, please sign our petition. Uh, we've been posting on social media. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, share with all your friends on any groups, community pages that you belong to, even local clubs. Uh, we need as many signatures as possible. I'll also put the email uh, to EASA, uh, specifically for the UAS uh, prototype rule that you can email them. Uh, I recommend that you make your argument uh, connected to how it's going to impact innovation and creativity and even STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. If you tie it to economics and uh, education, I think they'll listen uh, a lot better uh, to what you have to say. As always, uh, stay safe, have fun, I'll see you at the next race.